Hello, my name is Sam Walsh. I'm pastor at the Princeton Advent Christian Church. Welcome to my home. This past weekend we heard from the president's advisors that as many as uh, between 100,000 and 200,000 people may die because of the coronavirus crisis here in the United States. And that's if everything goes well. Those are very sobering numbers and made me very sad to think about that. And uh, in order to get out of that sadness, I had to look to the Lord and to his word for hope. And we find out that the Lord is for us, not against us. Though we are in a crisis, God is our Lord and our Savior, and he has good things for us in mind. The uh, people uh, in the New Testament um, who lived in Thessalonica uh, had to send Paul on his way very quickly because of persecution. He didn't get to tell them, well, they didn't understand what he was telling them about those who died. And so when someone died, a believer died, they were in kind of a big question about what really happened to this person. Now, Paul wrote back to them a letter answering their question. And this is where we find our hope in Christ and in his resurrection and in his second coming. Brothers, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep or to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's own word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left till the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage each other with these words. And it goes on into chapter 5, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. Now, brothers, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying, peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. For you, brothers, are not in darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief. And then a little bit later in verse 9 and 10 and 11, Apostle Paul writes, For God did not us for God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as, in fact, you are doing. So even in the moment of a crisis they were facing, the Apostle Paul urged them to find their hope in Christ Jesus in his second coming and that he is a God that is for us. We're not appointed to suffer wrath, but rather to receive his salvation. Lord bless you today and give you peace and hope in the midst of crisis.